Relocating to a new city is always going to have some great things to look forward to, but also some challenges that you didn't expect. Oftentimes, many homeowners move to Summerlin because it's a popular city that most people have already heard of. And although this is such a highly desirable neighborhood, there's still several things that you should consider before making the decision to relocate to Summerlin this year. In this video, I'll be sharing with you reasons why you should move to Summerlin and reasons why you should avoid moving here this year. Summerlin is the largest master plan community in Las Vegas and is located on the northwest side of the valley adjacent to Red. Red Rock Canyon. Summerlin is looked at as one of the top luxury communities in all of Las Vegas. You can find a great mix of new construction as well as resale homes in Summerlin. They all give you the opportunity to have great views of the mountains. I've lived in Summerlin for the past year and I love living here primarily because of its location. Living in Summerlin gives me access to the 215 as well as the 95 freeway, making it very easy to get around. The first reason why I think you should move to Summerlin is because this community is the largest master plan community in all of Las Vegas. Summerlin spans 22,000 acres and is home to 120,000 residents. Summerlin has a really well put together infrastructure and it was built with the focus on convenience as well as functionality. The roads are well maintained and all of your essential needs can be found here. When you live here, you'll have access to all your basic needs and more. This includes amenities like shopping, dining, nightlife, parks and recreation, as well as grocery stores. Most residents in Summerlin really enjoy a fit lifestyle because of all the recreation that is available. One of the most popular luxury gyms here in Summerlin is Lifetime Fitness, which is an indoor-outdoor facility that has popular sports as well as fitness classes that you can take. You can come here and take yoga, Pilates, boxing, and even get a personal trainer. I have a friend who has a membership with Lifetime Fitness, so I've been able to get inside. And when I tell you this is the gym of gyms, this gym is gigantic. You can even bring your kids there to play in the kids area while you go get your workout in. Summerlin is a great area to live in because it makes your daily life enjoyable and less stressful. The next reason why I think you should move to Summerlin is because of outdoor recreation. It comes without saying, if you live in Summerlin, you're gonna be surrounded by outdoor activities everywhere. And one of the most popular destinations that you can enjoy in Summerlin is Red Rock Canyon. Over at Red Rock, you can enjoy things like hiking, biking, rock climbing, and you can even go horseback riding. Red Rock is less than 30 minutes away from the Strip and it's surrounded in nature with 360 mountain views. The spring and the fall months are the best times to go to Red Rock because it's not too hot and you can really enjoy the peace of being outside in nature. Summerlin has 29 different parks for children if they love being in the outdoors. Each park in Summerlin is going to have different amenities that they offer, like tennis, basketball, frisbee golf, pickleball, zip lining, splash pads, football, and even soccer. Summerlin also has some amazing hiking trails for those of you who are nature lovers and love being outside. Now, if there's one thing Summerlin is known for, it's definitely gonna be their world-class golf courses. The avid golf lover can really be spoiled here with their well-manicured fairways, amazing views, as well as challenging holes. With so many different amenities here in Summerlin, it's a necessity to talk about one of the biggest attractions here, which is downtown Summerlin. And if you have the chance to watch my most recent video, I go around downtown Summerlin and show you what it's like to live in this area. Downtown Summerlin is gonna give you an indoor outdoor commercial retail experience. Here you're gonna find shopping, dining, and even nightlife. There's also cool fitness options like True Fusion and they even go out and do yoga on the lawn when it's not too hot. This is a very family friendly area that allows you to go off the strip and have a good time without being surrounded by tourists. Along with all the shopping and dining, you also have the Las Vegas Ballpark and City National Arena. The ballpark is home to the minor league baseball team called the Aviators, and City National Arena is where the NHL Stanley Cup champion Golden Knights practice. Many parents bring their children to City National Arena to take classes or because they're in a local hockey league. The thing I like about the Las Vegas ballpark the most are the amenities that it has for its fans. They have a VIP area inside that includes cabanas as well as a pool that you can view the game from. This is an amenity that's only fit for a team in Vegas. Also, if you're in downtown Summerlin on the weekends, you can catch their local farmer's market where you can go get fresh fruits and vegetables. To me, the biggest draw to downtown Summerlin is Red Rock Casino. This is a local resort that caters specifically to locals. Even the dining options on the inside of Red Rock are from local businesses. I really enjoy going to Red Rock for a staycation where I can have a pool day, a spa day, and then finish it off with dinner at their steakhouse called Hank's. And even their pool at Red Rock is kid friendly. And if you like the sunbathe, you'll have a beautiful view of the Red Rock Mountains. Summerlin is growing at an extremely fast pace. And with that growth, there are many opportunities to live here. Another reason why you should move to Summerlin is because all the various new construction options available. There's two areas in particular that you should pay attention to if you're looking at buying a new construction home in Summerlin. For new construction options, you have Summerlin West as well as Summerlin South. 
Summerlin West is located on the most western part of the Las Vegas Valley and it spans over 5,000 acres. A lot of this area is a part of future developments, which makes it a great opportunity to invest early. If you take a look at this map, you will see all the different future developments coming to Summerlin West. This area has the most new construction homes in any other part of Summerlin and features several of the top builders in Las Vegas. Right now, just like any other part of Las Vegas, there's road construction going on that is going to allow a deeper expansion into Summerlin West. In the future, there's gonna be new development luxury custom homes along the Red Rock Canyon. In order to make Summerlin West a walkable community, you're gonna see a combination of two-story homes as well as three-story. Summerlin West gives you an opportunity to get into a new construction neighborhood and build equity as it grows. With new construction options, you're also gonna have Summerlin South, which is located between Charleston and Huala Highway. Summerlin South is home to some of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Las Vegas. And Summerlin South, there's Red Rock Country Club, The Willows, The Gardens, Ridgebrook, the Ridges, the Summit, Siena, and the Mesa. One of the most luxury places here is a neighborhood called Mesa Ridge. It has beautiful homes all constructed by Toll Brothers and the entry point for these homes start at $2 million. The Summit is also a top community as it is home to many celebrities and athletes. Mark Wahlberg recently purchased land here for $15.6 million. He is in the process of bringing many of the Hollywood studios to Vegas and this makes it an exciting time to be here. I think the next biggest reason why you should move to Summerlin is because it has the most schooling options if you have a family. Summerlin has a wide range of schooling options available, both private as well as public. In Summerlin, you can find nine public elementary schools, three public middle schools, two public high schools, and two charter schools. There's also a total of 10 private schools. Summerlin offers the most options when it comes to private high schools. Most families who have children enrolled in schools in other parts of Las Vegas tend to enroll their child in a private school in Summerlin because of the many options available. As you can see, based off the schooling options available, Summerlin is a great place to relocate if you have a family. Before moving on to the reasons why you should avoid moving to Summerlin, for those of you who are unfamiliar with who I am, my name is Chris Brown and I'm a realtor with Simply Vegas. And just like you, I wanted to move to a new city that not only made sense for my business, but also for my lifestyle. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and click the bell so you don't miss any new videos and you always know what's going on here in Las Vegas. The first reason why you should avoid moving to Summerlin is because it's overcrowded. I mentioned to you earlier that Summerlin is home to 120,000 residents, and it's no secret that more people live in this master plan community than any other community in Las Vegas. With this many people living in Summerlin, it can significantly add to the traffic flow in the area. You'll see this traffic mainly in the morning during rush hour or pick up and drop off time for your kids. With all the construction going on in Las Vegas, it's inevitable that you're gonna see some traffic to some degree. Another reason why you should avoid moving to Summerlin is because the cost of living is too high. Summerlin has a reputation of being an expensive city to live in in Las Vegas. When you live here, you can expect to pay a premium to be a resident. Homes here in Summerlin cost more than the average price of other homes in Las Vegas. To put things in perspective, you can expect to spend $418,000 on a single family home in Las Vegas. This averages out to about $250 per square foot. Now, if you look at the average cost for a home in Summerlin, you're gonna expect to spend $454,000 for a single family home. This comes with an average of $278 per square foot. With this data, that tells us that homes in Summerlin are gonna average to be 8.6% higher than other homes in Las Vegas. This elevated cost for the luxury of living in Summerlin can definitely push some people away. But let me ask you this, do you think it's worth it to pay a premium to live in a community like Summerlin? What other things have you heard about living in Summerlin that I haven't covered in this video? Leave me a comment below. Another reason why you should avoid moving to Summerlin is because the distance it is from the Strip. On average, the drive time to get to the Strip from Summerlin is about 20 to 30 minutes. And it doesn't matter if you take the streets or the freeway, you're always gonna have some travel time to some degree. With majority of people in Las Vegas working on the Strip, living in Summerlin might be too far of a distance to commit to regularly. But if I'm being honest, everywhere in Vegas is gonna take 20 to 30 minutes to get to your destination, but Summerlin seems far because of how west it is. In one of my other videos, I talk about my experience moving from Orlando, Florida here to Las Vegas and being from Los Angeles, California. And believe me when I tell you, traffic here in Las Vegas is nothing like being stuck on I-4 in Orlando or the 405 in Los Angeles. 
The reality is driving 20 to 30 minutes in Las Vegas is not a big deal for most people. The one thing I will say is Summerlin is a good distance away from the airport. So for those of you who like to travel a lot or need to be close to the airport, this might not be the best location for you. One of the biggest reasons why you should avoid moving to Summerlin is if you don't like HOAs. Summerlin's luxury communities oftentimes require multiple HOA fees. Just for living in the master plan community of Summerlin, you have an HOA fee of $34 a month and many other communities, depending on where you live, can charge you an additional $150 to $200 per month. This can be a huge reason why people don't relocate to Summerlin because those fees add up. I think if you want to live in a community like Summerlin, you have to be prepared for what that luxury lifestyle comes with, and it usually includes a premium fee. I think Summerlin is a great community to live in if you have a family because of the schooling options as well as the accessibility to your daily needs. You can also look forward to a lifestyle that lets you enjoy the outdoors as well as shopping and dining. For more videos about relocating to Las Vegas, click on one of the other videos on the screen. I appreciate you all watching. I'll see you on the next one.